welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I hope you are all um, doing all right and you have not had anyone close to you affected by everything that's going on. I wanted to do really fast an update about my last Ipsy versus Ipsy the Ultimate. This was the replacement item that they sent me, the Let's Cuddle. And it's just such a pale shade and I've already decluttered it, so I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna just put this in a future giveaway because I already have it. I don't need another one. I'm gonna start with Macy's this month. Um, they did send a $10 coupon. I already took the coupon out because that's what I do first every month. And I'm gonna talk about the items, talk about what they retail, their full size, and whether I'm excited about them or if I'm passing them along or what have you. There is no bag again this month. I'm getting a little sick of not having bags, to be honest with you. Um, I don't like their other stuff quite as much. Uh, so they send us this little thing that says, created for Macy's makeup must-haves. And in here are like three um, makeup eraser wipes just for like your eyes. So they're like the makeup eraser, but smaller. And then an eyelash curler. This looks very much like the eyelash curler that I stole from my, well, I didn't steal, but that was at my grandpa's house um, growing up and I still have it, but it's from like the 60s, I swear. So interesting that they have a little retro one going on there, same color and everything. I'm gonna put this in a future giveaway just because I don't do laundry often enough to be able to use those. I would have to have like a month's worth before I would get them washed because um, I go to the laundromat and that takes a lot of um, time. So I'm going to pass these along because I think somebody else will probably get more use out of this. And there is no value for this, but it's the replacement instead of the bag. All right, the first thing in here are from Tony Moly. These are Peach Punch cleansing tissues. And these retail a set of 30 for $7. I'm really excited about these. Actually, I love makeup remover wipes. I know people don't like them because they're not as good for the environment, but I find that they really help get my skin a lot more clean. And I feel like when I'm using them, like I use so much cleansing balm to actually get enough so that I'm not picking it back up on my Clairsonic after I rinse. So I usually do cleansing balm, then rinse and put the soap on and then do my Clairsonic. And if I don't use a lot of cleansing balm, I still get like a lot on my Clairsonic brush and I just don't feel like I have gotten everything off my skin like I do with makeup remover wipes. So I'm excited to try those even though I just threw them on the floor. All right, next up is from Beauty by Pop Sugar. This is, what do they call this? Be Racy Liquid Velvet Lip and Very Nice. And it is very tiny. Oh, that's kind of a cute color. Um, this is one that I'm interested in trying. Let's swatch it. Oh, that's actually a beautiful color. I really quite like that. It has an interesting scent to it too. It kind of is intriguing. I kind of like that. So a full size version of that retails for $24. That seems like quite a bit, but all of the Pop Sugar's um, makeup that I've seen seems to be quite expensive for what it is, like much more than what I would normally pay for something. Then we have a Tarte Bronzer. This is the Amazonian Clay in Park Avenue Princess that retails for $30. I have so many of these. It still has the plastic on it. I'm trying to show it so that it doesn't um, uh, shine on you. Oh my gosh, I can't even think of words. So I'm gonna pass this one along too because I do already have, like I said, multiples of it. This is what the full size looks like and I have like a mini that looks like that. And then I have like the sculpting palette, whatever, the program under princess palette. So I have it quite a bit. Perfume, let's do that next. Oh, that retails for $30 full size. This is Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. Two ounces, 2.5 ounces retails for $122. Wow, um, I didn't realize that my perfume was quite that much. This is a really lovely scent. I like this one quite a bit. That's what it looks like. They just put out Shine, which is yellow. And oh my gosh, I love that one even more. It's like very bright, as a bright scent. That one's beautiful. It's like 
a very florally sweet scent and I like that one too but I didn't realize how expensive it was all right next up is CK everyone this one is so cute it has like the the bottle has like the little band the underwear band on it this is supposed to be a unisex scent I've seen it um, at the store on both counters this is supposed to be orange neroli and patchouli and the last one was mandarin coconut essence and vanilla I really like Dolce Garden would recommend it so 6.7 ounces retails for $80 that's a huge like 6.7 ounces Wow and they said this is a clean fragrance up here I don't know what that means hmm. it's vegan oh that's interesting I don't love it I need to wear it I'm not sure what I, my thoughts are on it um, that's one that I'll give a few tries and see what I think about it all right next up is Monsieur big mascara this is by Lancome I've had some of these in the past I don't like it it transfers like crazy on me so I will put this in my pass along that retails for $25 and then last up is Urban Decay this is a vice lip, lip chemistry in 21 I wish this was not in a red shade I can see that it is um, I'm going to pass this one along just because I have so many red shades and that's more of a gloss from what I have read about these it's a glassy tint so I'm going to pass this one along because I'm trying not to do, get any more glosses or any more reds because I just have too many. So this month is kind of a letdown. I feel like it's not the best that it's been. There's some repeats of, of things that have been in a lot of things like Tarte Bronzer, Monsieur Big. Um, so that's kind of a disappointment and there's no bag, which is one of the things that I love most about this subscription. I know other people don't, but at this point, I'm keeping two out of the six things. I'm keeping the perfume and I'm keeping the lipstick, which is quite pretty, like, and it seems to be drying down nice. But um, the other perfume, I already have the mascara I don't like, lip gloss I don't like, bronzer I already have, don't need any um, of these things. I think it was a decent value, I just don't think it was good for me. All right, let's quickly move on to Ipsy because I've been talking so much, but I haven't been filming very much lately and this is my stress release right, right now. We're gonna start with my add-ons. Actually, no, I'll save add-ons for the last because you might not care what I got. Um, this is this month's bag. It says the 100th Ipsy Glam Bag on the back. I don't quite like the spikes. I don't know, sometimes like spiky things just kind of I mean the heebie-jeebies I know that's probably weird but that's how I feel all right so in here the first thing I'm pulling out is from Shayna B I just got some brushes from them it's a highlighter in the shade guava glow it's supposed to retail a full size for $29 oh look at that's cute it has little um, flamingos that form a heart oh that's so sweet I don't want to like ruin that um, oh it's a very let me double swatch because it seems to be it's a more subtle highlighter it's not going to be a very glowy highlighter so this would probably be good a good one for me to put aside for when I go back to work and I'm going to be seeing students I and I don't need to glow so much all right next up is from naked cosmetics this is a pressed pigments eyeshadow and the shade mother nature and it retails for this is its full size and it's retails for $14.95 that seems crazy to me. Um, I'm going to pass this along just because I don't need any single shadows. I have so many. This is a nice like universal shade though. The packaging seems pretty cheap. It's like a cardboardy type thing. Not, not exactly for me. That's okay. Not everything is going to be. All right, next up is a brush. This is a concealer brush, which I will actually probably use as an eyeshadow brush because that's how I roll. It's from Firma Beauty and it retails for $12.99. So it's actually supposed to be a full size, which is kind of nice. All right, next up is from Ofra. This is a full size bronzer and retails for $35 in the shade Americano. 
I'm going to pass this along just because I don't wear bronzers and I don't, I don't know what to do with the bronzer. Like I, okay, I've been trying to wear them a little bit more, but they're just still not my thing. I'd rather somebody else get it than, and who would enjoy it. All right, next is from Kay, Kayleon. I have no idea how to pronounce that. This is Blackheads O2 Bubble Pore Pack. It retails for 26 for full size. I have gotten something from this brand that was like a two-step before, and it was like in my very first glossy box, which was years and years ago. I don't remember it at all. But yeah, that one is there. And then my last one is the thing that I chose. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, and this is what it looks like. Oh, it's pretty. It's a really beautiful lilac shade. Um, it smells kind of like Tatcha products in the past. The retail for this is $68. That's incredible. Um, so Ipsy this month, you know, three things, four things, four things I will try. Brush, um, although the handle seems kind of cheap. Highlighter is, is all right. Um, nothing like super exciting. The mask is all right. Nothing super exciting on that one either. The thing I'm most excited about is the thing that I chose, which is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. So that's nice. I love creams and face, face skin care stuff. The things that I added on really fast. I got this Honey Jarrett Clean Whip Cleanser. And this is mild and deep cleansing. I think they are all sealed. Yep. So I'm not... I don't know what I would swatch with it anyway. So I got that and then I got this Curology, way more than a cleanser. It is a um, cleanser, what is it called? Clean Sweep, that's what it's called. Um, use morning and night. It too is sealed, so I will be using those eventually when I go back to my sample Saturday because that's on hiatus right now. And then I went a little crazy with eyeshadow palettes. These were $12 each. The other two were $3 and I got one of them for a dollar because they were doing $2 off of a add-on. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk anymore. This is Violet Voss. I love Violet Voss. I have a few of her mini palettes and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna add this one. I was kind of tempted to add the Sorbet one and I was like, do I need it? I haven't even been wearing that much crazy bright eyeshadows lately anyway so this is creme brulee i debated about this one i was like it's not really my color scheme but looking at it it's so pretty and there's so many shimmers in here i can really see myself actually wearing this to work quite a bit i'm going to swatch a few i don't know why i'm swatching that one you're not going to be able to see it at all hang on wipe off that one we'll revisit that one um, let's do a couple of the shimmers cause they look really pretty and then we'll do this like peachy orangey color. Yeah, those shimmers look quite lovely and actually there's quite a bit of pigment with those matte shadows as well. I really enjoy Violet Boss shadows, all of the ones that I have, um, so loud. All the ones that I've gotten in the past I've really enjoyed. Then I picked up this guy. This is the Pick Perf um, Auto Bomb Shadows on the Go and they're just they were so cute. I was like you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to get them. You get a primer in there which is a little weird for me personally and then the different shimmers so it looks like there's five shimmers and two mattes which is kind of cool. Um, and they seem to be all different places like Pennsylvania, St. Charles, Sunset Boulevard, Broadway. We gotta just watch Broadway because I'm a Broadway girl. And then we'll do Sunset because that green. And we'll do Ocean Drive. So I'm only gonna swatch one of the mattes. That one was not as impressive. They're okay. I don't think they're as stunning as the Violet Boss that are right next to them but they're kind of pretty in their shade range. Um, we'll see how they work on the eyes. I've been experimenting with a lot of eyeshadow palettes this past week because I put my 444 on hiatus and I put 
everything else on hiatus. I do have a 444 I need to film, both for face palettes and for eyeshadow palettes, and a 30 and 30 lipsticks eventually. We'll see when that happens. All right, and then the day tonight, um, I just realized too, when I was talking about the Macy's, I the wipes, the Macy's wipes, I'm really excited about those, so that's a little bit better. All right, so this one has a black primer, which is kind of interesting. I've never tried a black primer before, but oh my gosh, that blue is just looks gorgeous. We'll do Wall, Wall, Wall Street as well. I can't even talk anymore. And we'll do, we'll do like three shimmers again. Um, we'll do them down to the arm. Actually, those are quite pretty. I'm excited to try those. Um, those are probably my favorite of all. All right, so in the battle between Macy's and Ipsy this month, Ipsy is 12, Macy's is 15. The $10 coupon for Macy's really did help, but I still think Ipsy kind of hit it a little bit more with their add-ons. I'm excited about trying the little palettes um, and the cleansers and stuff. Let me know what your thoughts were on these two. Do you get either of these subscriptions? What did you get? In your Ipsy bag, what did you think about Macy's? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and I will comment as soon as I can. I'm kind of behind, um, you might have seen my video. This is, I just jumped on here really fast trying to get something and a little stress relief because it's been a stressful week, that is for sure. I hope you're all doing well and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.